welcome to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video. I thought I would do a Thanksgiving a romantic tablescape idea of sorts. I'm going to quickly show you guys everything that I got, where I got it from, and then how I would set it up. You don't have to do this exactly. This could be just purely to draw inspiration from. You can change out the colors, change out, you know, different things, but I just love doing things like this, putting it together. This is super simple, not, you know, crazy fancy or anything like that, and fairly affordable, I would say. So let's just get right into it. I do have a video that I did in the past for a Dollar Tree Thanksgiving tablescape. I thought I would do, this is mainly from Amazon, I want to say. Some things from Walmart, but for the most part, they are from Amazon. And my idea for this year was a romantic, intimate type Thanksgiving tablescape. And this is something that you can do not just for Thanksgiving, you can change out the colors, do it for different parties, different gatherings, a Friendsgiving, Christmas, you know, whatever. So first I got this cloth here and this is a satin tablecloth. We do have a round table. So I got it for the round table. If you have a rectangular one, you can do rectangular. And I got it in the chocolate brown color. I wanted to have a rich, darker type tablecloth with a very light uh, runner going through the middle. So this is also off of Amazon and this is a cheesecloth runner. You can get it in multiple colors. Both of these come in multiple colors. I wasn't going for anything bright and airy this year. I did definitely wanted it to be more uh, toned down with little elements of brightness using runners like this. And I do feel like the runner is what kind of gives it that romantic feel. You do see these throughout a lot of weddings in the season so they are pretty popular. Same with these goblets here. I would say these goblets are very popular right now. I initially wanted the amber colored ones, but those are so hard to come by. And if you do find them, they're insanely expensive. So I just settled for these clear ones here. I believe these come in several colors as well. You can get blush pink. I was debating to get blush pink, but I just felt like blush pink wouldn't go with the whole color palette that I have going here. So I stuck with the clear, also off of Amazon. And they do come in a pack of four. There's four, and then there's two here. I have two more in the cabinet in our cabinet but i only need six for the table setting that i'm doing and they're very heavy very good quality i love the design i like these vintage romantic goblets and they could work for any occasion in my opinion i thought this was a great amazon find and then i went to walmart yesterday to kind of find things to fill in the space in the middle and believe it or not, it's quite difficult to find Thanksgiving things now. Halloween just ended. It's only the first week of November. And the Thanksgiving stuff is tucked away in the corner. And it is just full-blown Christmas everywhere. So this is all that I found. This was in their floral section. It's a eucalyptus garland. I'll see if I'm going to use this or not. And then these were right when you walk in. I believe they were $5. This was $8. These I've had for a very long time. I believe I used them in the previous video as well. They were from Home Goods. I use round ones. You know, you can use whatever rectangular, whatever floats your boat. And then these plates are from Walmart. We've had them for a few years now. I love them because they're like that CB2 find feel. They have a little lip. They might still be available. I'll have to check and see, but I'll let you guys know. I'll try to link as much as possible, whatever is available. If not, I went to Walmart yesterday and I did see they have similar ones and not the exact same ones. So just check your local Walmart or check online. Like I said, I will try to link as much as I can. These are also off of Amazon. I'm gonna be using them as napkins. They aren't marketed as napkins. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure what they're called. I'll try to see if I can find them, but I did stop by Walmart yesterday, like I said, and I did see them there still. They were like in the napkin section. They're just not marketed as napkins and then these are from Amazon I went through so many different kinds of gold flatware I wanted something that wasn't too sharp because some reviews said some of them can be too sharp when you put it in your mouth I would say these are very well rounded and they're pretty they have like this matte gold color there are some discrepancies that I've seen in a few of them they say that they are dishwasher safe I've washed them numerous times but for example this one right here do you see how it came off so I did talk to the seller i'm trying to be as honest as possible and they are willing to replace a few of them so hopefully in the long run i don't know if this was just like a quality issue because it does have really good reviews uh overall so hopefully it's just a few of them that have issues with them but so far i do really like them and i only plan to really use them for special occasions that's pepper meowing in the background by the way these i'm planning to use are from michael's you can get these in gold or black i got them last year they might still be available same with the candles found them at michael's and then these believe it or not i picked on the side of the road right now you could probably find them anywhere I don't know, it's like pompous grass type feel and I feel like it really flows with everything that I'm trying to do. I'm not sure if I'll use it in this vase or not, but we'll see. So this is everything and now the fun part is putting it all together.
And this is the after. I'm actually very happy with how it came out. I did initially put that pompous grass looking stuff right there, but I didn't like that it was equally as tall as the candles. It just didn't look very aesthetically pleasing. So I probably won't use that. You can if you, you know, you just work with your imagination, whatever you have on hand, you don't have to use these candles. I like them because they give off those romantic vibes. And there's my whole idea behind this was a romantic, intimate tablescape. So unlike last year's tablescape where I had a pumpkin in the middle and my idea was to have like a buffet style Thanksgiving so that you don't, you know, and the food's not here. You just go get whatever you want and come sit back down. This year I was going for a more intimate setting. So I left a lot of room in the center, whether it's for the turkey platter and the sides, all of that. So you have that in the center. You're sitting here intimately with your family, your friends, you're eating, you know, you don't have to get up and everything is here. So that's kind of like my idea for this year, which is why I have all this empty space, but I'm really happy with how it came out. This would work with a rectangular table, you know, whatever table the tablecloth does come you could just search satin tablecloth on Amazon this one did say that it was gonna come in in I think two three weeks and it came in a lot sooner than it said it would come in so that was a huge plus it was fairly affordable everything here was kind of affordable I just wanted to take stuff that I already had and find other affordable options whether it's Amazon Walmart whatever and kind of put it all together I'm sure you could probably even find these faux pumpkins and stuff at you know Michael's other craft stores Dollar Tree maybe but I had a vision in my mind and I wanted to put something together that kind of aligns with that vision almost like a, you're bringing a mood board to life almost like a Pinterest photo and bringing it to life so really happy with how it came out I'll try to link as much as possible as I can otherwise I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had fun I know it's really simple but it definitely is spot on with what I had going on in my mind so hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you guys in future videos